Hello, everybody. Welcome, everybody. Ha. Hello, everybody, and welcome to. Yeah. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Honor the Big Mango Tree. My name is Theo. Nice to meet you. Today, we are going to be doing. Uh, Hello everybody and welcome to one of the big mango tree. My name is Theo. Nice to meet you. If you're a returning follower, welcome back. Glad to have you. If you're new, please like, share, and subscribe. I try my best to put out content. I do go to school, I do work, so it's kind of hard to keep up. But I promise you that I'll be putting stuff out there that you might enjoy might enjoy <laughs> but anyway so today we're gonna be talking about my student film at the end of my schooling at the end of university I have to submit a student film and um, today I just wanted to talk about my idea how I came up to it where I am so far my process and stuff like that so when I started school in Bloomfield doing 3d animation in Bloomfield College in New Jersey I was introduced to traditional animation so we had to get to those animation papers that's on those pegs so they had little pegs in the classroom that light up and everything for us to draw and I really enjoyed it because I was a traditional artist at the time and drawing on paper was very satisfying you understand me drawing on a computer with a pen and everything just couldn't I just couldn't make the connection and it felt so weird and uh, what uh, had happened was I decided I wanted to do my own little animation after I didn't complete my schooling in Bloomfield and I'll go to Kennesaw State there was a lot of confusion so during that little break I had I was like I really enjoyed traditional animation and I wanted to create my own little animation but it wasn't for anything it was just for me right to just put up and be like hey I did something and uh, what had happened was I started doing the storyboard I was I had just moved down to Georgia by my dad and I was feeling a little bit of homesick so I wanted uh, the animation to be like uh, a coming home type of things to saying kids because I haven't at that time I didn't I wasn't uh, I hadn't been back to saying kids for about five years I would say five four years around there so I was really homesick I still haven't been back and now this pandemic and everything I ain't gonna be back for a while so yeah right <laughs> so I might as well get over it so what I had came up with this is my character design book if anybody what asking I'll, a lot of a lot of different people in here mango the beginning stages of mango and everything like that and how she developed into how she looked now and stuff like that so this is just my character design book so this is the early stages of my storyboard and uh, it might not make any sense to you but the storyboard is for me it makes sense for me i have done this about how many times this is one i did it on some loose papers as well i, I have been working on this for years so i have revised the storyboard many many times so it would just how it started out is me and a roommate sitting on the couch watching tv i'm scrolling on the phone and if you if you can be on or if you want to say it they'll be have they'll have these announcements like it is now that time um time all time and have all these commercials and stuff like that so i was watching it and i got excited i got up and i walked away to my room and started packing and my roommate is like what you doing i was like i'm going home it's that time it's time to go home right so i'm here grabbing a flag 
take it back and I, while I was packing it in my what's it called, suitcase I got a, got to the taxi this is the end to enjoy um, I, I don't know what Atlanta airport name is it just Atlanta international airport? I don't know but at the airport me up in the air stuff like that and then this is uh, airplane exiting off the plane walking down and then it's gonna do this like hand shot because I'm in my own clothes and then all of us you know like that cartoon take where the person just shoot take off the clothes and now they transform into a different uh, attire or something like that so then you're gonna do a pan shot showing the whole carnival wheel and then I'm walking up because in St. Kitts Airport you come off of the plane, you walk on the time and you walk up into customs or whatever and uh, so she's now walking into customs here and uh, she's gonna stop, speak to the crowd because every year we have this slogan we have this slogan that we for, I think by the time this is done, it'll be 50 years. So I have a slogan for 50 years, whatever, whatever, whatever. And then um, she's inside and the custom lady is checking her bag. And everybody looking at her is like, why is she so dressed up? Like, it's not road matters yet. Why is she all dressed up in her wheel? But the, the customs lady sees... Uh, the inside of her bag and saw that she had her flag and everything and she tells her welcome home and she starts crying and it ends there <laughs> so that was the first makeup of my student film and uh, as you can see it was very rough very very rough I don't know. it's because I've been revising this so many times and the little train outside they went in up and down playing with each other so just like me what so these are some rough sketches of the what's it called the scene scenery and stuff like that i was trying to draw her room the room that she goes into but i didn't finish it don't worry about it if you want to see the early character designs of this yeah this is her this is her, this is her little corner and her design is based off of her nail. She's a, a artist on Instagram. I found her work on Instagram and I like the simplicity of her art style. So it's like her, her art style will be very easy to animate. So I decided to base the art style of this on hers. So this is her, simple eyes, simple lip, everything like that. She has a couple outfit changes, so this is her outfit while she's inside here with her friend chilling because it's America and during the winter time is when St. Kitts has his carnival. So December, December, from November to December and the beginning of January is carnival season in St. Kitts. During the summertime is carnival season in Memphis. So in St. Kitts, the 31st, I think it's the 30th, 31st, the 1st, and the 2nd is when we have children's carnival, grand parade, last lap, all those kinds of lovely things. The 26th of December is Juve. Um, when you wake up early in the morning, you just dad and wine off your wings. So during that time, it's going to be cold in America. Even in Georgia, it's cold. It's bad as New Jersey, but in Georgia, it's cold too. So she just, there yeah, getting ready to go into a taxi and that kind of stuff. I think she should have another change of clothes because when she reaches there, it's going to be hot. Anyways, and this is just her carnival attire. Um, this is going to change. Don't worry about it. This has changed. I haven't made up my mind on what, what it's going to change to, but it's going to change. This is her roommate and her little turnaround. She's not gonna be there for long, so I don't think I need a detailed turnaround for her. This is the stewardess. Um, she only um, appears once, and that's to give her something to drink. And uh, I don't even think her face is in it, so it's just the back of her head. So I don't know why we have all this detail on her butt. And these are the customs workers. 
who's gonna be there checking her bag and everything like that. So I had a, I had a little plan. I had a little plan out oh, them couple years back. So when I got to Kenneth's I was like, yeah, the producer's still them film. I was like, sure, I'm just gonna do this. I already had this out here. I just have to expound on it, make it better, learn what I needed to learn so that I could produce something well. So I'm gonna show you what I have. Ooh, what else I have for my work? So here are some papers. Like I tell, when I tell you, I have started doing this. Like I, I, I really have started laying everything out, drawing everything, making sure the layouts and everything was cool. I, I'm pretty sure I'm still gonna use these layouts, yo. These are I spend a lot of time on these layouts for my what's his name for my drawing like i might redo this one because it's supposed to be like when she walks up the steps for saying kids for saying kids airport but i can't find a proper image of the of the back of uh, the international airport in saying kids so we're gonna see and these are the upgraded well, the second time I upgraded the the character, so this is me and Afro. I don't have any Afro anymore. I'm wearing my locks. Yes, my locks were longer, but I cut them off because they really like how they were going. So we're gonna have to be with me picky here for a little while. It's alright. I already give up on them going any longer. <laughs> so no worry. So this is her. A little turtle. I changed the way how she looked a little bit. I think I like the better design. I think I like the first design I did of her. Yeah, I think the first design that I did of her was a little bit cuter. Yeah, I'm trying to do like the mouth expression. I mean, she doesn't speak much in the in the shorts. So I don't know why I did this. I think she only talks. To, well, at this time, she wasn't. Really, she didn't really have any dialogue because I changed the the storyboard a little bit so that it won't be much dialogue, and I wouldn't have to look for people to talk and that kind of stuff. I like this design better than the yellow one. And this carnival design is nice. I like this. I really like this. I really like it. I might use this again. I like this, but I was thinking, animating this is going to be a lot of work. Animating all those feathers is going to be a lot. But if it turns out beautiful, you have a birthday. And this is her friend, her roommate. I also did the mouth shapes for her as well. As you can see, it's her, the art style is still kind of based off of Pernell. I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. Pernell, right? This one. These are the custom workers. Faces and these these were all colored with Copic markers. I only did the, the mouth the, the mouth shape for her because she will be the only one talking. The other girl doesn't really say anything. She her a whole conversation with her face because the bigger girl looks at me and she be she like gonna hit the gun there. You know when you talk, you go by that stuff like that. <laughs> this is the stewardess. That's what they call right? the flight attendant. She doesn't really say much. So I did that. And these are like the mock drawings of the of the of all the what's it called? The backgrounds and everything like that. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use still use these backgrounds because these backgrounds were nice and clean. I really like this. Oh see my I found them. Found them. This is me planning out how each back one is gonna look. And right now I'm using ear table. Ear table is very, I would say, useful when it comes to planning out and working on big projects. So you can see what is done, what needs to be, what needs to be completed, what is in process. And I got this when I was working on uh, animation with Asifa. I was doing the chair design, and they 
link me up with the whole group in Airtable to see where everybody had their parts. I was like, this is such a useful, um, what's the word, program when dealing with these stuff. So I implemented that in my work process. And here, I'm pretty sure I did another storyboard process on one of these papers but I can't find it. I can't find it. Where my baby? You were the owner right now. So here is just me. Well, see me here like starting drawing the process. And the reason why I changed the shape of the halfway is because what I realized is we're having all those free form curls and bumps on her hair. You have to really keep track of it. You have to really keep track of it. That's why Steven, Steven Universe here actually has a bumps and corners on the ends so that when they animate it and they move his head, the, it's easier to keep track of where they should put the other, the, the bumps as they move. So I decided to just make a, make her here round at this point so it will be easier on myself when I, while I am animating. So I would just spend time drawing, drawing the outlines and everything like that. I think I might just do this on freehand too because I use Clip Studio Paint to do my animations right now. I really like Clip Studio Paint. Toon Boom is looking at it it seems like a very useful and in-depth animation program but I, I for some reason i just cannot get my head around it i don't know why it just seems harder to learn because i already just learned i just finished the clip studio paint and i think clip studio paint is a lot like traditional animation and uh, to me I just prefer it. I don't want all these extraness. I don't need all this extraness. The boning and everything like that would be amazing and useful. And puppet animation would be great. But that's not what I'm going for. And I just like the look of uh, hand drawn stuff like these. I still haven't used it <laughs> to this day. And all my, my teachers are like, you guys have to use a quick studio pen, but what, no, I mean, use a tomb boom. But once I export the video, they don't know any of the wires that they think I'm using it, and I'm not. I'm really not. No. I think Clip Studio Paint gets the job done just as nice. Yes, it's a lot more work, but it doesn't really bother me. So let's move on to what I have now. Oh, I found more papers. Wait one second. Yes, I found the, well, part of it, some of it. I found some of it, some of the storyboards. I found some of the storyboards. And in here, I found these boxes on the internet. The storyboard layout on the internet. And it just, me doing some, I had much more of these. I think I had another one before I did my fat, my other one right here. I don't think this is gonna be the final one, but this one that I'm doing right now, this one that I'm doing right now is different. I updated it again. This is my student film book. You see me? So when I go to school and I get like an idea or something I wanna change, or I feel like working on my student film at the moment, I just open my book and uh, continue. So. Yes, it's stick figures, but it, it makes sense to me. And But there's one program that I love from Toon Boom is the Storyboard Pro. Storyboard Pro, I love Storyboard Pro. It's easy to navigate, it's not that difficult. I like all the little animations you could do in it, and I think it's easier for me to get my head around. So that, I'm gonna be using that as well for my stuff, but for some reason I can't run it on my computer. I guess it's too heavy. So when I go to school, I use it. So for this storyboard now, it's me in my car, driving, 
to my favorite restaurant so far, that, my favorite Jamaican restaurant that I have found so far in Georgia. It's called Fireside. If you know where it is, best Jamaican food I ever had. Fireside, um, I go in there. It's me spinning my sink. It's dice, you know. Caribbean people got a little car accessories and the little dices with our flags on it. So I enter this store and I'm ordering the oxtail with rice and peas, um, the cabbage and planting, and then I sit down. I sit down and started to eat my food. And in the restaurant, there's this whole map of the Caribbean, right? Yes, a whole map. It's not just Jamaica. A whole map of the Caribbean from the Bahamas all the way down to Suriname, French Guyana. All of that is the Caribbean, if you don't know. I'm just, I'm just saying. And uh, I see St. Kitts. And uh, it zooms in to the island and I get sad, right? I get sad for a moment. So I just, it, it, it cuts to me getting out of the car, we arriving home and uh, my mom calls me on WhatsApp and uh, it, it's my little sister because she always play with my mother's phone and we having a conversation. She showing me the backyard and everything like that, mommy washing and, uh, and so on and so forth. So I got inside, sit down, I'm watching the TV. My friend is, uh, is in the chair watching uh, whatever she watching on the TV laughing and then the conversation with me my mother me my mother and my sister ends so I'm looking at my friend laughing like what's she laughing for this, this ain't even funny but whatever um and then me scrolling through Instagram or Facebook I think Facebook is much yeah Facebook or Instagram and uh, I see everybody because it's no carnival season because it's now carnival season, so everybody's putting up all these fets and parties they're going to, um, dressing up and stuff like that. I was like, I am missing this again. I'm missing carnival again. So I decided to get up, go to my room, start packing all my stuff. My friend ain't really say anything to me. She, she, she just looks at me and smiles because she see me packing and I guess she heard the video from before. So she ain't really say nothing. She smiled and she let me go about my business, let me go on my way. And uh, I jump in a taxi, hops out the Uber, well, Uber, hop out the Uber and uh, enters the airport. And then what it does, it does a panning. So as I'm walking into the airport, the camera pans up and you see the plane taking off. I don't know if you could picture it, but it's like, yeah. And uh, so you see here, the stewardess gives me the flight attendant. Is this a stewardess? I should look this up before my mother call me and tell me Tiasita is not that. But, <laughs> but anyways, um, the flight attendant gives me uh, a drink and I say thank you. Then it goes to a close up of me looking out of the window, reminiscing and stuff like that. And you just see um cloud to see a cloud area the lights of georgia whatever and then it goes to like the little island of saint kitts then it has me coming off of the airplane i think i'm gonna change this sequence i might make it longer have me exiting the airplane and walking taking off my clothes like and then as a as I'm walking on the tap, you see this pan shot of my shoes, the body, and then the headpiece. So it's like carnival attire coming up in this and like model-esque stuff, right? Then he has me walking up that little, what's it called? Step up those steps to go into customs. And then I hesitate at the top of the stairs. I, I walk up, I pull open the doors, right? I just pull them up and spin around. And then uh, I gave uh, the slogan for Sugar Mass 50. Hopefully there will be a Sugar Mass 50 or whatever. It might just be 49 because we might not have a Sugar Mass this year because of the pandemic. And uh, thank you to just reopen their 
ordered so i don't know if they're gonna have one with such high risk at this moment I think it's too, it's too small to be having a pandemic you understand me so but we shall see what happens this year if we don't have any then i have to change my slogan um then is me waking and check out and everybody looking at me like why is she so dressed up it's not it is not grand carnival today <laughs> did she come off the plane like that like right so the costume uh, the costume worker takes my bag and she's looking at me she put on her gloves to to search and what's not and uh, then she opened my suitcase and sees that my flag is on top and uh, she smiles a little bit and she says welcome home right and i just start crying you know like those anime sappy things like ah. if uh, they, my story was heavily inspired by those uh, japanese uh, those japanese commercials where there'll be a commercial for mcdonald's and they make it this most emotional heroic thing ever i remember watching uh animation a uh, little commercial, Japanese commercial about what's it called? Miso soup. I cried for each last one of them. I don't know. It was about a family and the love and then kind of stuff. I was like, wow, who would have thought this was for miso soup, right? But this is just my thing is like a big heartfelt commercial for tourism. <laughs> oh, and at the end, like this is for the credits and what's not. Um, is my mom and my little sister like running up to me, jumping into my arms and them kind of stuff. And saying, hello, mother's like, yo, what you look so? And my sister's like, I think she look nice. <laughs> I was like, my sister would look nice. <laughs> but, so I changed her design again. Again, like, she might get changed again. It, <laughs> so everything for her change, her face, everything. I still like the previous clothing designs for that one, so I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm going to stick with that. Her face, a close-up of her face and her eyes. I still like the first designs. I think I'm going to go back to that one. I like this. I, I like this design. I don't know where she's going to wear it. Maybe to on the way to the airport, but I like this design. This one too. I like this one too. I really like it's girly and cute and fun. I like it. I still like the first design of the carnival, the carnival costume, but I really need to find a way to make a carnival costume that would be easy to um, animate for me because I'm the only person who'll be doing this. So I need to make sure that the carnival costume that I choose to go with won't be a hindrance and it will look beautiful as I animate it. This is the roommate. The roommate doesn't really change that much, you know. She still look the same for all of them. So I don't think she really changed that much. This is stewardess. I wanted, uh, you know, instead of her looking like Asian, I wanted her to look more dark that yeah because it's layout i'm most likely going to be taking layout or whatever so i decided to make her look like she's from the caribbean or of african descent instead of making her look like she's asian this is jamaica lady the jamaica lady who gave me my food i don't know if her face is going to be shown um so i really do a whole turnaround and everything like that because if I'm entering the restaurant I'm from, and where the camera is placed, I'm only going to see her back. So I'm still thinking about that. It's my mom. It's the design for the mom. My little sister. And then the customs worker. I still have a lot more characters to draw for this. Um, I have to draw the background peoples. I have to draw... Um, who else do I have to draw? I have to draw the Uber driver. So let me just show you my ear table and what I have for that. So hopefully this is my ear table. Give me 
next to me. This is what I have so far. It helps me plan out like different scenes, different views, what needs to be drawn and everything like that. So car views here have three whole different views that I have for the car. The outside, the inside, and the one while I'm riding in the car and the other one while I come out to come out of the car to the airport. The flight attendant, the taxi inside of the Uber, the restaurant has five different views. Living room, outside the apartment, outside Atlanta Airport, outside St. Kitts Airport, outside St. Kitts Customs. All like air table is very useful. You would think this is sponsored. It's not. It's not sponsored by them. Your table is very useful when it comes to planning out big projects. So I would recommend that you use it so it keeps you on track on everything you need to do. Take your time, plan out every single thing that you need and uh, see. And uh, it just helps you keeps you on track. So slogan, this would have been the slogan for 2000, uh, what is it? 2022 is when I graduate. So 50 years of fat, 50 years of vibe. It's our 50th year of sugar mat. It's gonna be a golden jubilee. It's going to be a golden jubilee. So I was thinking, um, what's it called? Of the Jubilee Stadium in St. Kitts, and the uh, Jubilee is for 50 years. So I was thinking, okay, this will work for that slogan. So I need to start, get started on my storyboard. And then once I finish with that, refine it again so that I could go to the final stages of my storyboard, give it to a teacher, one of the teachers then for the seniors and have them look it over. Um, and yeah, there's a lot that I need to do for my student film. And um, I'm gonna show you guys uh, the process along the way and everything that uh, I'm doing as I reach a milestone, I give it to you. I think the next video I do on my student film is gonna be me um, drawing the character designs. So I need to make up my mind on how the final designs of each character is gonna look. So they might change again. So don't get comfortable with how they look. They already changed like three times. So they might change again, <laughs> you see me? So, so yeah, that is the end of my student film video. I hope you guys liked it. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. Come back with your friend, your mother, your father, your sister. Um, I know times are tough right now, but I hope think it is safe. I hope everybody is safe. I hope my country is doing what is needs to be done so the pandemic doesn't get too bad. In, my, in the country and keeps its citizens safe. I hope we are able to have, well, they are able to have a, a carnival this year because uh, why not? If it's just the citizens, then uh, right now the country doesn't have uh, any cases of uh, coronavirus. So if the citizens are the only one participating in it, then why not? Uh, it, it won't hurt anybody but they already have a different parties there so you won't hurt anybody to have a carnival this year so we can only see how everything goes there might be a little bit of changes in the, the slogan and what stuff for my for my student film but uh, some things goes but anyways bye you guys have a great day